Hey, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. The best part about being alive in this era of man is that we are constantly tiptoeing along the fine line of science fiction and reality. No dream is too big, and this is very apparent in Japan's fanciful desire to completely solve Earth's energy problem. By wrapping the moon up with solar panels built by robots that will consume the sun's radiation and beam it back down to the Earth so that you can microwave your hot pockets. Lunar Ring is not the name of a failed birth control venture, but is the name of the Shimuzu Corporation's idea which would wrap 250 mile wide solar panels around the 6,385 mile equator of the moon. Like a, like a fancy David Bowie belt. Ooh, that's nice. Sparkly. The panels would be constructed by a mini lunar army of robots rocketed to the moon. Once there, they'd be responsible for construction, which would pull many of the needed materials from resources right there on the moon. I'd call the robots Moon Palumpas. And after the Moon Palumpas finished their slave tasks, they'd be free to start an autonomous Moon Palumpa moon society. And while that's all happening, the sun would constantly bombard the solar panels. And that energy would be converted and then shot down to Earth like the Death Star on an unsuspecting planet. But instead of a beautiful world-ending explosion, the beams would make contact with 20 kilometer wide antennas, cleanly powering our ever expanding existence. It is very Death Star-ish looking, and Japan does have an emperor, and we are tiptoeing the fine line between reality and science fiction. But weird Star Wars coincidences aside, I don't know if this will ever be plausible, but I like that humans are still dreaming big. At least Japan is. Yeah, thanks Japan, for everything. Yeah, like toys, mini blinds, 80s electronics, and like creepy weird animated tentacle porn with girls with like short blue hair. That's not natural. Blue hair doesn't grow out of a human scalp. Nor do tentacles. So innovation is a byproduct of creativity, so let's get a little creative. Let us play together. Come up with some other ways to solve our energy woes. Go nuts. No idea is too crazy. Put it all in the comments down below and maybe we'll stumble on something and all become rich together. Or. Joe will just take your idea and be like, I thought of it. All right, you guys, please click this annotation. It'll take you to our five daily stories. Like the video, subscribe to our channel. Do all the same junk that you always do. Because mm -hmm. why not? Because we're all friends. And it's like love at first sight. We love you.